Welcome back to my channel. This is Check the Facts and I'm coming to you live this time not from my car. I advanced from the garage to inside the house. Today's segment is about the term Latino, Latin community or Latin people. This term is not for Spanish speaking people only. It is not for them. It is not about them. Latin was a language that existed in Rome before Spain did, before Portugal, before any Spanish speaking Latin deriving language ever came to be. So if anyone today is a true Latino or a Latin person, it would be the Italians. There are thousands of languages and dialects in the world today and of those thousands there are only five languages called the Romance languages that are derivatives from Latin. So basically Latin is the source for these languages and these five languages are Italian, of course, Spanish, Portuguese, French, and Romanian. Not Romanian, R-U-M, Romanian, R-O-M. And of course, Spain and Portugal are the original Spanish-speaking countries, but now uh, nowadays we have um, Mexico, Guatemala, Venezuela, Brazil, and so on. Uh, so of course, they're somewhat included. So Italy, the origins of Latin, Spain, Portugal, France, and Romania are the Latin countries of the world. The people that come from these five countries are Latinos. The Latin people. So let's get started on some facts. In this scholarly article, Language Origins, it says that there are roughly 5,000 languages currently spoken around the world. Where did these languages come from? In a few instances, we actually have a historical record of the origin of certain languages. Thus, we are able to trace the various Romance languages, Romanian, that's spelled wrong by the way, it's not Romanian, it's Romanian, R-O-M-A-N-I-A-N, -A -A Italian, French, uh, Catalan, Spanish, Portuguese, back through the uh, historical record. Uh, Catalan is Catalonia, which is in Spain. I checked that. This person just added Catalonia, but it's a, it's a place in Spain that consists of four provinces. So let's start with Rome. Rome was founded about 753 BC. And I just highlighted the Etruscans as a side note that they are the oldest and first known Italian slash Romans. Now keeping the date of Rome in mind, let's go on to the Romanians. They weren't always called Romanians. They were first called uh, Dacia or uh, Dacians. It says here the Romanians regard themselves as the descendants of the ancient Romans who conquered southern Transylvania under the Emperor Trajan in 105 AD. This is the same Transylvania of vampire origins and it is not a country on its own. It's a region in Romania. And so if anyone ever asks you where is Transylvania, what is it, you can smartly say it is a region in the country of Romania. You're welcome. And then look just above that, it says the Romanian people derive much of their ethnic and cultural character from Roman influence, but of course this uh, has been reshaped throughout history. But that influence definitely includes the Latin language. Moving on to France, it says in ancient times France was part of the Celtic territory. Its present name is derived from the Latin Francia, meaning country of the Franks, a Germanic people who conquered the area during the 5th century at the time of the fall of the Western Roman Empire. It became a separate country in the 9th century. The Romans ruled what is now France for more than 500 years, which also left them with a Latin language, which of course became more and more their own over time. Moving on to Spain, it says Rome left in Spain four powerful social elements, the Latin language, Roman law, the municipality, and the Christian religion. And I also added España because this is what the region of Spain and Portugal was called before Spain and Portugal became their own countries under their own names. So this is going back a little earlier in history. It says, uh, España was significantly Romanized and Hispania was removed from Roman control by 409 AD. It says here, Emperor Strayan and Adrian were both born there in uh, Hispania and most and most all the people of Hispania were granted Roman citizenship. So of course, there's the Roman influence, which also included the Latin language. This is from the National Association of Scholars. And this person asks, Dear Ask a Scholar, what is the true definition of Latino? 
Many say it's just Latin American people. Others say, and I believe as well, that Latino means anyone whose language derived from Latin. Hispanics, Portuguese speaking people, French and Italian. Of course, they. This person forgot Romanian. I need someone to clarify the actual meaning and history of the word. And so the scholar writes in Spanish, it means someone belonging to the people of ancient Latinum in Italy, whose language was Latin. So the Romans, of course, were Latinos, the original. Latinos, the original Latin people. Another and related meaning of Latino in Spanish refers to someone who belongs to the cultures of the Romance languages, which I just mentioned. That is the people whose language and culture too derived from the language and civilization of Rome, which was Latin. Among these Romance languages are Italian, French, Spanish, Portuguese, and Romanian. Again, misspelled. It's R-O-M-A-N-I-A-N, not R-U-M. Therefore, all Italians, Frenchmen, Spaniards, Romanians, and Portuguese, as well as all those Latin Americans whose language is Spanish or Portuguese, are Latinos. Going down towards the bottom, it says the word Latino now serves to categorize those people who come from Latin America or descent from people of from people from Latin America where the spoken language is Spanish but who are not happy with the noun such as Hispanic. This means in addition to the Latin people of the world, you know, France, Portugal, Spain, Romania, and Italy, not in placement of. It continues to say the predecessor of Latino studies was Chicano studies created by university administration in California under pressure from activist university students that sounds so familiar of i don't know marshmallow leftists and for this and, and for the same reason women's studies morphed into gender studies so chicano studies morphed into latino studies helped again by university administrators response to activist university student marshmallows principally of mexican and puerto rican descent or origin marshmallows marshmallows and more marshmallows puffed up to the extremes. Is there anything anymore that people aren't offended by? So from our Greek and Latin root, and I'm sorry that it's so blurry but I don't have the best camera at the moment, it says on page six we call Italian, Spanish, French, Portuguese, and Romanian Romance languages because they were originally spoken by the Romans. But what's really cool about um, these languages is if you know one of these languages you can easily learn the rest of the for. I mean, you can be uh, multilingual so easily compared to someone who uh, doesn't have Latin roots. And if you read some phrases or sentences or even words in one of these languages, they are so similar to the rest. So you can easily uh, point them out as opposed to a non-Latin language. So the next time you find a Romanian or French or Italian, um, just know that those are Latinos and Latinas too because their language derived from Latin, they are Latin people. It uh, doesn't matter what anyone says because it's not going to take away from their history. It is what it is. I mean, this started from the very beginning and a Spanish-speaking people, whoever they are, wherever they come from, they can tell you that they are the only Latino community in the world because, I don't know, it makes them feel special or something and they can say that till they're blue in the face. It's not going to change the fact that Romanians, Italians, uh, and French, as well as Spain and Portugal, um, they are the Latino people as well. As well. These are Latino nations. These are Latin countries. Educate yourself.